Hi, my name is Ethan Reeves. I'm the developer of Genie and founder of Iprit Technologies. And in this video, we're going to be looking at folders and collections. Now, first off, what are folders and collections and how can we get there? Well, we can get to folders and collections by clicking the folders and collections button in the toolbar. So what are folders and collections? Now, in the overall sense, folders and collections are where you organize and curate your research. This isn't a bucket for every single article that you've ever found. This is a curated list of the content that you're pretty sure you're going to end up needing in your debate round, in your extemp competition, stuff about specific bills that you've been looking at in Congress, for instance. Now, everything that goes into your folders and collections, that's the folders and collections themselves, all the articles, cards, and auto research that you can put in them, all of that synchronizes with all of your team members so that everyone is up to date and has the same research. And all of that is also available offline. This ensures that everyone has access to the content no matter where they are, no matter what rules your league may use, and no matter what the situation with internet might be at a specific tournament. Okay, so folders and collections. What is a folder and what is a collection? So, using a general analogy of the file system of your computer, a folder would be just like a folder on your computer. It holds other files and documents. Now in Genie, a collection is one of those documents. You could think like a Word document. So folders are going to contain collections and are going to represent the high-level structure of the content. You can think of a folder like Debate, Middle East, Iran, or the 2019 season. In contrast, a collection is where you specifically store your evidence. There are three types of collection. Well, an extemp collection is where you store articles for a current events topic, a country, etc. A congress collection is where you store your research on a specific bill. Now, in Genie, a bill is a type of collection. The third type of collection is a debate collection. A debate collection stores all your debate material on a specific case. A debate collection is analogous to a brief. It can hold cut cards, evidence, articles, auto research, anything. Great. So let's look at how we can actually get a system set up. So moving over into Genie here, the most important button is this plus button here. This is where you're going to create folders, collections, and everything you need. So if you click that plus button, we can see we can create a new folder add a, con a Congress docket, create a new extemp collection, a new debate collection, or a new Congress collection. Right now we're going to create some structure, so we're going to go with folders. Let's create a folder called extemp, and then inside of that, by clicking the plus button right on it, we can create a new folder called regions. We might want another folder up here under extemp called domestic, for instance. And then under regions, let's make a folder called Middle East. Under that, another folder called Iran. And then now we have the basic outline of a structure. And you can be as detailed as you want here. You have total freedom and you can go as many folder levels deep. You could create hundreds of nested folders if you wanted to, though I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, so we have a folder about Iran. Now we need to make something in it. Okay, what we're going to put in is we're going to create a new extemp collection in that folder. And we're going to call it alleged oil sabotage. Apparently I can't spell. <laughs> right, so this is a collection. It's an extemp collection, which means that you could put articles into it. And this is where you might organize all of the articles that you had researched yourself, had found especially interesting and useful and relevant, that you had highlighted, for instance, about the alleged sabotage of Saudi oil tankers in the Gulf purportedly done by Iran. You can open a collection by clicking on it here, and then you can see the collection pops up in the sidebar. We can click on the collection. And we've got that over here. Now, we're not going to be going over collections specifically in this video. We're going to look at that in a different video. We're just going to be looking at the overall hierarchy and how to manage them all. If we needed a different type of collection, for instance, if we wanted to create a new debate brief, you could just click the plus button and create a new debate collection. Now, the great thing here is that everything is reorganizable with drag and drop. 
So let's say that instead of wanting a domestic folder, that we wanted everything to be internationalized and everything goes under regions. Okay, so if everything goes under regions, then if you think about it, we don't really need a regions folder, likely. So we could move Middle East and everything under it up directly under extemp, take domestic as a folder, delete it. We do want to delete it. Delete regions as well. And then let's create a new folder called the Americas. Let's say we create a new folder at the top level called North America. Now this folder is in the wrong level as we can see here. North America should be under the Americas and not outside on the same level with extemp. Well, you can just drag and drop it right underneath and everything will work just as you would expect it to. The final thing that's quite useful here in this view is that you can search folders and collections. So if we're looking for a specific collection, we can find it here. Right now we've only created one selection, one collection, so this isn't going to seem that useful, but it's very useful once you have hundreds of collections. So let's say we wanted oil. Now we can see here is a collection on oil. Click on it and it brings us back over here. This is going to search the entire path though. So if we wanted to see all of the collections that we have that are about Iran, we could type Iran and that shows up there too. Great. So that's the basics of folders and collections. How to create them, how to organize them, how to manage them, and what their purpose is. This does overlook a major part, and that is the collections themselves. And we'll be looking at those in a lot of detail in future videos. They're very powerful and have a lot of features built in that can accelerate your research process for extemporaneous Congress and debate.